Hello and welcome back. Now, our special music guest today is now pursuing a solo career after spending the 80s as lead singer with one of the most successful rock acts of the decade, Marillion, of course. And he recently enjoyed chart success with Big Wedge, his first single from the album Vigil in a Wilderness of Mirrors. He's here with us this morning to talk about his latest release and all his other projects. Welcome to Fish. Good morning. morning to you. I have to ask you, Fish, I know you've been asked it millions of times, but why are you called Fish? I got the name in uh, about 1978 and it was, uh, I've actually got it by staying in the bath for too long. <laughs> As someone I love, if, you know. <laughs> you never. Yeah, if I can find, I love baths and jacuzzis and stuff. Uh-huh. One of, actually one of my highlights was at the Newport Centre on the last gig, we actually had a jacuzzi and I got one of them big inflatable things, you know the things that the kids play on in the yeah, swimming pool? Yeah. And I got one of them, and we sat in the jacuzzi and had a, the, the pre-show meal in the jacuzzi oh, on this big now, inflatable very table. very Hollywood, very Hollywood. It was wonderful. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, I, I love water. Mm. You know, I love being in water. I love Did you get baths big enough for you because you're a big yeah. lad? Oh, that's one of, the, one of the things about... Um, there's two things I promised myself when I was a kid. Was that, you know, if I ever had money, I was always going to get a bed that, were, that I could lie in and yeah. get my feet and my right. head in the bed at one time without <laughs> sleeping diagonally. And right. nothing was to get a bath big enough. How tall are you? But, uh, six foot five and a half. Wow. That's Which good. is a real problem. I mean, I've been mm. in high and mighty shops since I was about seven year old. You know. <laughs> Which colour would you like, sir? Black or dark blue? You know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now, also, you've been having a bit of problem get, trying to get a, a Scotland strip. I know you're going on tour in Europe, yeah. aren't you? And you can't get one to fit you, is that right? That's it's true. It's, it, it's always been a problem, me in sizes. And that one of the things is uh, trying to find a home strip, you know, we're going out. I like mm. to wind the locals up. Absolutely. So uh, it's just the old, the old trick we're wearing a double strip, getting the, the the strip of the relevant country we're playing in, uh -huh. together with the Scotland strip. Right. I'm I'm very proud of my country. So I'm actually trying to get some gigs down in Turin in Genoa. Right. At so the times that you can go to the games, because I've never been able to go and see a World Cup before, and I've never been able to afford it. Oh, I'd love All to go. All the times been wrapped up, mm, and the album's going great in Italy, yeah, so yeah. I can probably wangle That's a tour right. down there. Now, now you, after the split, split with Marillion, what what was it like for you? The first time you went on stage without them, when was that and what was it like? Was it a bit lonely? It wasn't. The, f the first time I went on was actually we did a, a concert at Lockerbie hmm. and we'd been asked to do, it was just to basically entertain the populace and we did a small gig in the bingo hall and I had some friends, some uh, friends for Big Country and his uh, like Bruce Watson for Big Country and John Keeble for Spander Ball and some other guys. My own keyboard player, Mickey Simmons, and we went in and played the show, and I was very, very nervous before it went on. But, uh, you know, at the end of it, I was ecstatic. It was, it was very, very emotional. Mm. And after that, it was, everything else just seemed to, to follow naturally. And I did the five-week tour last year, which was to coincide with the first single, which was State of Mind. Mm. And that was a wonderful experience, because I managed to get up to play Ellipool, and I got up to Lewis, oh, where I I'd never been Pool. before. Brilliant. It was great. That's good. Lots more bands are doing that touring the Highlands. Yeah, I think it's you know, I think you've got to be very flexible nowadays. I mean, you know, for for me to be able to go and, and play those, to strip mm. the unit down and go and play to like you know eighty people in a, a small town hall in, yeah. a, in a Highland town, it's inc it's incredible, and you can keep that unit going, yeah. and it does it it keeps your attitude right. But when you do go and play the Hammersmith Odeon or, or uh, Wembley Arena, you know, you've got, the, you've got the drive there. And that's one of the things that I've really got back yeah. since I left the mm. old band, is so the driving energy again. Tell you what, we'll get you a Scotland jersey. <laughs> Thank I know you. the boy that provides the kit up there. Sort that out. Big chest, Martin. 44. Uh, let's take a look then at Fish in Action, shall we? Here's an exclusive preview of the forthcoming video. It's the second single from his solo album, Vigil in a Wilderness of Mirrors. This, A Gentleman's Excuse. Brilliant. 